if you're not doing this then you are risking having your chorus be out of sync with the rest of your song which will lead to your song sounding terrible now one of the first things you need to do is yo Aguan, hope you're having a great day in this video i'm going to be showing you how to copy over your chorus in studio one now this will work in any version of studio one and i'm going to be sharing some tricks that are going to help you copy your chorus over so that it's in the exact right place every single time and make sure that you never have an issue where you're copying over your chorus and it's just a little bit out of time and it makes the whole song feel jarring and out of place and just wrong okay so this is going to fix all of those issues and it's going to show you exactly how to get it right every single time so stay tuned to the end of this video as it's going to help you out a lot if you don't know who i am i'm jay carter ray from jaycarterray.com teaching you how to be better at music online business and online marketing this is the number one spot for me musicians and creatives that don't want to be starving artists and if that sounds like you click on that subscribe button check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here guaranteed now my question of the day is what is your chorus about the song that you are trying to copy the chorus over let me know what it's about in the comment section down below okay now let's get straight into this this is going to be really really straightforward really really easy now the first thing you need to get right before you even start recording your song is you need to set the tempo correctly if you have set your tempo incorrectly this is going to be way harder than it needs to be and you're going to have a lot of difficulty with that so make sure that you set the tempo correctly if you have started recording your song but you realize that you didn't set the tempo correctly there is something you can do go to song go to song setup go to general and here you can turn off stretch audio files to song tempo which you need to do if you're changing your tempo halfway through recording your song otherwise everything's going to get stretched and it's going to sound weird okay so once you turn off that and you apply it i'm not going to apply it, i'm just going to go to cancel then you can actually go to your tempo and change it to whatever you want okay so that's the first thing you need to do make sure you have the tempo right that's step number one step number two is you want your chorus at least one part of the chorus so as you can see in this chorus i've got a few takes i've got the main take and then i've got left and right takes twice so you want at least one of these audio clips to start on a bar like this like this is starting on the ninth bar it's also snapped to the grid so everything is definitely on time so down here we have the doubles of my chorus and up here we have the chorus as it was recorded because i like to just record my chorus and verse with the same effects in the same place so here we have the top chorus and then we have all the doubles after and what i do is with my doubles i make sure that i have at least one of them that's hitting the bar now generally i just record all of them from the bar and i'll just make sure it's snapped and then i'll get rid of all this dead air later when i'm actually editing and mixing so let's quickly listen back to a little bit of this chorus shall we Okay, so that's that. But what we need to do is we need to get all of this, like the whole chorus and our doubles, and we wanna copy it over. And as you can see, I've already done this, but I'm going to just copy, well, I'm gonna get rid of this. There we go, let me see where this starts, around 57. So let's get rid of that. And let's see where everything starts. And do we have a yell? Yeah, so that's a new thing. So we'll get rid of that. Okay, so I got rid of the whole chorus so you can see me doing this fresh and you can see exactly how it's done, okay? So the most important thing is that you have something 
hitting this bar right here before the chorus. So wherever your chorus starts, as you can see, this starts at 10. I've got a bar before that where everything else is going to be copied to. Okay. So with this, I'm just going to zoom out. I'm going to select from nine to where the chorus ends, which we'll see using our doubles. So our chorus ends like right here. So we've selected everything. Now I'm going to press control C and I'm going to go to the bar before where I want my chorus to start. So let's listen to this stage and let's hear where the chorus is going to start. They say, what do you do the most? So it's going to start like right here. So we're going to paste everything right over here. Oh, also <laughs> before we paste everything and mess everything up, we need to select the first track because that's actually where we want everything to be sent over. So we want everything to start on this first track and everything else to be on its relevant track. So let's select her. Let's press control V and everything should be in the correct position. Now let's listen back. And then all I need to do is get rid of not all of that. Let's, let's okay. Let's just undo that. We need to unselect everything and make sure we move this basically forward a little bit. So we're not using all this useless air. And then we could clean this up if it was necessary, but we're pretty much done. So, as you can see, everything is in the correct place. Everything's exactly on time and everything's perfect. Very, very easy, very, very straightforward. Let me quickly recap for you. First, you need to make sure that the tempo is set correctly to the tempo of your song. If you haven't done that, then you need to make sure you disable the stretch to tempo feature, okay? Then you can change the tempo to the correct tempo of your song then you need to make sure that you have a recording that goes to the bar before where you want your chorus to come in this makes it easier for you to copy things over okay now if you're just honestly i wouldn't suggest you have one layer for your chorus that's that's just extremely lazy and it's just not going to make your chorus stand out that much but if you are doing that then what you can do is you can just create a recording before your song or add a midi note before the chorus comes in at the bar before that so that you can just use that select that with the actual chorus up here or wherever you've recorded it and then copy it over and then all you need to do is just make sure that the audio or midi note that you're using that comes at the bar before make sure that that is at the right place when you copy it over okay so that's basically all you need to do and then you know you select it Control c Control v very very straightforward go back through the video and watch again if you need to see how to do that but that is how you copy over your chorus in studio one and make sure that everything is in the right place give me a sec i've got a phone call okay i totally forgot what i was saying before i got a phone call but it's good news great stuff basically hope this video has helped you out if you've got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make please let me know in the comment section down below and i've got something you really want to know about it's going to help you out a lot i've got my spotify ready vocal mixing template that you can grab link will be down below or just go to jcarterray.com forward slash vocal templates and you'll be able to see my spotify ready vocal mixing templates and the different options over there now with this template you get all the effects that i use to create my songs and once you just load this up and you hit record your vocals are going to be spotify ready already yeah you ain't gonna do much all you need to do is maybe change the auto tune to the tune of your song to the key of your song and bob's your uncle you're done maybe change a bit of the eq so that it fits your vocals and then you're done you ain't, you ain't gotta do much okay everything else is sorted out for you 
and the great thing is this also comes with a guide a pdf that walks you through all of the different settings that you need to put in to get this same effect so if you don't want to use the same plugins that i'm using you can simply use that pdf and input the settings in the different plugins that you're using and get the same well, kind of the same effect obviously if you use a different plugins you're going to get a different sound i suggest you use the plugins that i'm using but regardless if you use my plugins or you use your own plugins you're going to be able to get some spotify ready vocals and your vocals are going to sound 10 times better before you even get to the mixing stage so i highly suggest you check this out link down below remember that and if you've got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make please let me know in the comment section down below and i'll see you in the next video where you'll learn more about music online business and online marketing peace out